Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial on black line following. We shall begin with the agenda of discussion. Principle of line following sensor, location of line following sensor in the Firebird 5, reading the analog value from line sensor on different surfaces, setting a threshold for line following, program to follow black line. Principle of line following sensor. Line following sensor consists of bright red light and a highly directional photo transistor. The bright red light is made to fall on the surface on which the robot has to follow black line. The surface consists of both black and white colored parts. The red light received by phototransistor from a white surface after reflection is more compared to black surface as the leakage current from the emitter to corrector rises with the amount of light that falls on the base of transistor. Hence, high analog voltage on white surface and low analog voltage on black surface. The analog voltage from line sensor vary from 0 to 5 volt. The position of sensor is just beside the caster wheel and is as shown in the figure. To read the analog value from line sensor on different surfaces, write a program to convert analog values from line sensor and display them on LCD. Take reading from the three line sensors on both white surface as well as black surface. Adjust the potentiometer if similar readings on all three sensors are not obtained for a particular surface. Setting threshold is an important task in line following. Let us see how to set threshold for black line following. Consider the value of all three sensors on white surface is similar. Difference of plus or minus 3 will do. If not, adjust the potentiometer and name that value as W. Consider the value of all three sensors on black surface is similar. Difference of plus or minus 20 will do and name the value as B. Now threshold value can be calculated using the formula given here. Program to follow black line. Let us consider the different cases that robot faces by following a black line. Case 1. When the black line is below the third line sensor, in this case the robot should be made to turn soft right. Case 2. When the black line is below the second and third line sensor, in this case the robot should be made to turn soft right. Case 3. When the black line is below the second line sensor, in this case the robot should be made to go straight. Case 4. When the black line is below the first line sensor, in this case the robot should be made to turn soft left. Case 5. When the black line is below the first and second line sensor, in this case the robot should be made to turn soft left. Case 6. When the black line is below all three line sensors, this case usually occurs when there is a node in the line. In this case, the robot should be made to stop to make a decision what the robot should do next. Let us start with the programming now. The main function given here starts with initialization by calling various functions. A variable threshold is fed with a value calculated earlier. Velocity function is used to set velocity of individual wheels. Anything written inside a while loop runs continuously. The following statements are written in a while loop. The variables left white line, center white line and right white line are fed with their respective ADC converted values and printed on LCD. The cases discussed earlier are written in the form of logical statements and are as shown here. Case 1 is when left white line and center white line are lesser than threshold and right white line is greater than threshold. In this case, the robot should be made to turn soft right. Case 2 is when black line is below the second line and third line sensor. In this case, the robot should be made to turn soft right with slight higher velocity on right wheel compared to soft right. Case 3 is when left white line and right white line are lesser than threshold and center white line is greater than threshold. In this case, the robot should be made to go straight. Case 4 is when left white line is greater than threshold and right white line and center white line are lesser than threshold. In this case, the robot should be made to turn soft left. Case 5 is when the black line is below the first and second line sensor. In this case, the robot should be made to turn soft left with slight higher velocity on left wheel compared to soft left. Case 6 is when all three left white line, right white line and center white line are greater than threshold. In this case, the robot should be made to stop. The video demonstration is as shown here.
thanks for watching the video